you can save money when traveling in your RV. And we're going to show you how. Don't go away. Everyone knows that fuel is one of the biggest costs we have when traveling in our RVs. And we want to give you some tips that we've learned to help you save some money. So we have nine tips today to help you save fuel when you travel. And stay tuned till the end and we'll give you a bonus on how to save five to ten cents per gallon on your gas or your diesel. Take a quick minute and hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. And let's go save money. So let's talk tire pressure. Everyone knows that if you want to be safe, you've got to check these tires. Have yourself a good, a good tire pressure gauge and check before each trip and check as often as you need to. And if you've got a tire that's slowly leaking, get it checked out so you don't have a problem. But did you know if your tire pressure is one pound off, it can cost you up to 3% in your gas mileage? Now you know. One of the things we do as newbie RV, RVers, overpack. So, after you've taken a few trips, see what you can get rid of. Don't keep what you don't need and don't use. You're paying to haul that stuff around with your fuel. Speaking of carrying too much, too, too often we carry too much fresh water in our tanks when we're traveling, and that will really drastically lower your gas mileage. So only carry what you need, unless you're boondocking, then you might carry more. So it's really important to keep your RV tuned up. You're going to get better gas mileage that way. I just need to find where Wait. to hit. To Lynn, turn. hand over the hammer. <laughs> what? Yes, we need to keep our RVs tuned up, but that's not how you tune up an RV. But what I want to tell you is that if you keep your RV in proper, uh, properly maintained, and keep it tuned up, then you'll get better gas mileage. Did you know that you can lose up to 10% of your gas mileage if your, your filters are dirty? And what if you had an oxygen sensor that was not working properly? Did you know you can lose up to 40% of your gas mileage? So keep it tuned, have it checked up, have it checked out, and you'll get better gas mileage. Let's talk about saving money by driving smoother. We've all heard about taking off with and it's really hard to do a jackrabbit start with an RV. But if you're not taking off smoothly and coming to a smooth stop, then you're wasting gas. We want you to drive smoother. If you can, use your cruise control. When you're on level ground and you're not going up steep hills, it's, it's real good, real smart to use your cruise control because that will save you money. It'll keep your uh, acceleration at a minimum. Hey, let's cool it with the AC. If you avoid using the AC as much as possible, you can save up to 5% in your fuel efficiency. So if you can start earlier in the day, and if you can follow our rule of three and try to end by three o'clock in the afternoon before you hit the peak heat of the day, then you're gonna save money. So try to save money. And we're talking about the AC from the, the cab of your vehicle, not necessarily your RV AC. As simple as it sounds, one of the things you can do is camp closer to your home if you have a home and stay longer the less time you spend on the road the more fuel you'll save so let's talk about another gas saving idea keep your rig balanced sometimes we try to put the heavy stuff in the wrong spots instead of spreading them out the more balanced your rv is hey you're gonna be safer and you're gonna save money on gas. So another simple thing you can do is plan your route. If you plan in advance, a couple of things are gonna happen. Number one, if you have a hill that you can take or a smooth path that you can take, taking the smooth path and the one that does not have a lot of hills in it will always give you better gas mileage. Also, planning your route will keep you from having to turn around and take long ways down roads that you didn't intend to go on anyways. Is that a uh, reference to the time I refused to ask for directions? Go. Did you know if you just slow it down a little bit, you'll save tons in your fuel efficiency? Studies show if you drive between 55 and 60, which is the sweet spot for most RVs, 
instead of driving 70, you'll save up to 17% in your gas mileage. Think about it. If you fill up a 40 gallon tank, that will save you close to $20 per fill up. That's a lot of savings. Hey, we might get a pizza tonight if we save $20. Bonus time, I want to give you a secret. You can save up to 10 cents per gallon if you use some of the major gas gasoline stations fuel reward cards. We happen to use Shell and it saves us up to 10 cents a gallon on every gallon we use up to 20 gallons. Also there's cards such as Good Sam's that save you at the Pilot Flying J truck stops and you can save up to 5 cents a gallon. And if you use diesel, really look into the EFS card. We're, we're not diesel but I understand that you have some major major savings so look into that. But those are some great bonuses to help you save extra money. So we hope these tips make sense and we hope they help you save some money. Because remember, every penny you can save out of your gas tank is a penny you can spend RVing. So, so take a quick minute, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And until next time, God bless and many safe travels. Go RV America.